Tonight, we celebrate two of music's most influential players. Manager Bruce Allen has guided the outstanding careers of Brian Adams, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Loverboy, Michael Bublé, and Martina McBride. Brian Ahern has produced albums for the best in the business, including Emmy Lou Harris, Ricky Skaggs, Johnny Cash, and George Jones, the Bradley Burns Sessions. Both Bruce and Brian have also had the honor of working with our very special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Anne Murray. in the Maritimes. Home at last. Everyone in this industry needs people who believe in them. When I was 21, one of those people was Brian Ahern for me. As the musical director of the TV show Sing Along Jubilee, <laughs> Brian was one of the people instrumental in getting me a job on the show, but he didn't stop there. I was teaching school at the time, but Brian had a different career in mind for me. He believed, more than I did, that my future was in music. He wrote special delivery letters to me once a week, urging me to quit teaching and come to Toronto to record an album. And finally... <laughs> Finally, his persistence paid off and I landed in the big city, scared to death. Thank you. <laughs> but when I got to Toronto, what Brian had forgotten, conveniently forgotten to tell me, was that before we could go into the studio, we had to get his guitar out of Hawk. <laughs> so I did. And it turned out to be a very good investment indeed. <laughs> Together we cut our teeth on my first 10 albums. Anyone who has ever worked with Brian Ahern will tell you that he is a brilliant producer, an accomplished musician. His, his innovative approach and his generosity in sharing his knowledge gave me a priceless education. Brian's confidence in my ability was enough to carry me through those early years, and I am pleased to be here tonight to recognize my dear friend and colleague, Brian. In 1995, my longtime manager, Leonard Rambo, passed away. Like Brian, Leonard had been with me from the beginning. Words cannot describe the sadness and the uncertainty of the months that followed. Leaving the business was never far from my mind. Then I received a phone call at home from Bruce Allen. And if there's anything I can do, just let me know. We talked for an hour that night. He had a plan and a vision for what could happen next. Stop singing, he questioned. Don't even think about it. You have so much more to offer. His boundless energy, his passion, and his unwavering faith pulled me up and pushed me forward. My career was not over. It had just begun again. In 
it's been quite the managerial ride since then, and together we've added a few more golden platinum awards to our walls. Bruce has an instinct and an uncanny sense of timing that is unparalleled. He's driven and he's tireless. Occasionally we go toe-to-toe -to -toe on issues, but when you come from a family of five brothers, you're well-schooled at holding your ground. <laughs> Even with the likes of Bruce Allen, I'm sure Leonard would be the first to agree there was no one more deserving of this award than you, Bruce. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present this year's recipient of the Leonard T. Rambo International Award and the newest member of the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame, Bruce Allen and Brian Ahern. Thank you very much. It's great to be in St. John's. St. John, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was driving, I've been here about four or five times doing shows, and I was driving up here today after we landed on the plane, and it was just fabulous. The weather's great, the people are great, and it's really something I think the CCMAs can come here. They should be coming to these places all the time because these are the people that really love it. Now, the only way that a, a person in my, my position can even be considered for such an award as this is because of the artists that he represents. I've been blessed to work with the best. I'm also surrounded by a great staff, without whom nothing would really get done. And without a team, success is impossible. And I want to thank all of the labels, and I've been on all of them, and they've all done a tremendous job for me. Warners, Sony, BMG, Universal, and EMI, for all their help and their belief. It is especially poignant for me to stand here tonight and accept this award from the lady that personifies Canadian music. And who, together with her manager, Leonard Rambeau, blazed the trail for artists that followed. It's been a privilege to be a part of her legacy. I've always believed that music is a global business. My artists have certainly proved that, and I'm eternally grateful to all of them. Thank you very much. I know how I got here. It was the notes my mother sang to me while she scrubbed my baby back in the sink upstairs and my dad brought the first guitar to my hospital bed and uh, American sailors volunteered their shore time to teach me and they found Hank Williams on my bedside radio and uh, it was Anne Murray's leap of faith that led us to those ten albums and uh, The, the aspiring young producer got lucky, and uh, I'd like to thank um, Ralph Murphy, Bob Hunka, Norman Griesdorf, and Jane Harbury, and my spectacular daughters, Shannon and Megan. Thank you. <laughs> 